Okay, let's add some um, add the rails and these boards. I've yet to add the window down here and just covering up these. Uh, I should do that in my own time. You guys can go ahead and do that if you like or if you prefer. Okay. So far it's not looking too bad. So uh, okay. I'm just gonna go to the front view and isolate the selection. Let's uh, make this board here. So these are probably just uh, planks of wood or plastic. Uh, so we're just going to create a box, turn on our snaps. And I'm going to go back to 2.5 and just stuff it to here, give it a little bit of Right, right click. Uh, we don't want 100 centimeters, so let's go with 2 centimeters. Let's frame up. Go to perspective view. Okay. And just delete that for a sec. Because it's supposed to snap onto. Let's let me change this to three and create a box. Turn off snaps, right click, uh, go back down to here, two centimeters. Okay. okay let's frame up perspective view. Okay, yeah. So, 3D space. Let's convert that to edible poly. Let's grab those edges and let's show for those and two millimeters should be fine. Let me just zoom up. Yeah, that's perfect. Click OK. Okay, so that being said, I'm going to pivot there, we'll just hold down shift and just drag out. Actually, let's cancel that because you want to go directly above this. And shift and drag out. Uh, one copy, and let's do it about 20, click OK. 20 was a bit too much. So just going to grab those, press delete. And this one, press delete. Grab these, deselect, and we'll have a FFD modifier. Control points, select, and we're just going to drag these out. To there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's exit isolation mode, go to perspective, frame up, press F3. Now we're just going to grab all these and just bring them out. Deselect this. Now, 2.5 space will actually bring these already 
to the center of the grid. So around there. So I'm just going to undo the miss selection there and new layer, call this planks and add selected objects to highlighted layer. Now just making sure we have nothing else selected with that. That's fine. Okay. Okay, let's see what we've got here. I'm just going to go to the front view and uh, let's hide the foundation, uh, windows, and the roof. Well, that should be. Fine. Hide the walls for a second and hide the the plans. So I just want to select these guys, convert to a little putty, and hide the plans. Um, okay, so we want to add the plans down here. So holding down shift, we'll just bring these guys down. Uh, copy, go to wireframe. Just close that for a second. And add an edit poly modifier. Uh, go to vertex, we'll just grab these. And bring it down to here. Okay, I just want to grab these, delete. I believe it's these three, two. And you can see if we go up. Okay. It's a perspective view. Okay, looks like we accidentally drawn the ones for the back. No problem. I'll just bring these guys out and we'll take them 180. Can't do that because I need my angle snaps. So I'll bring these guys out again. Rotate 180, and we just want to place those right about there. Okay, so let me just freeze our walls there, so we can't select it. So I'm just going to select these guys, rotate, nine, oops, cancel that. We don't want to select any plants. We just want these guys. And we want to rotate 90 degrees, click OK. And we're just going to bring these guys this way, so you want the left view. Okay, I just want to bring these guys over to here. Let's close that. Add a putty. Polygon. Let's grab. Actually, we'll go 
to element. Delete, delete. Okay, we do so. We'll just grab those. Delete. Perspective view. those guys in. Back to the left view. Okay. It's perspective. I believe that's, that's correct. Yeah, because we have the, the window cell here. So that's fine. Okay, let's go back to our left view. Frame up. And we'll duplicate this across. Let's go to wireframe. I think what I'm going to do is just highlight this and this isolate selection. Okay, before I do that. to make sure that these here okay and bring these across go to the left for you and I just want to get these lined up first. I'll just pause while that train flies by. Okay. Let's place these in place around about here. Go to perspective mode and bring these guys to there. Okay. To the left view, frame up. Uh, hold down shift and cross. We want two, click OK, and we want. This one and this one will bring these guys up. Uh, edit putty, vertex, bring these down. Same for these guys. Hey, Polly. Okay, so 
Looks like we have okay, we need to bring these. Into breath. These guys and just bring those in just a bit. This guy out there and do the same quickly here. Oops. Make sure it's selected. We have these two that are intersecting. So we go to edit poly and do a okay. Let's collapse these first to just so we have a fresh canvas. I'm going to slice plane and it's going to bring over here okay before we do that looks like we need to bring this across again I'm just going to redo this, just uh, hold on a second. Okay. So what I basically did, I just deleted these guys here and I just realigned all these because I wasn't liking the look at those spaces. So I do apologize for the birds outside. So back to slice. I'm going to go to the slice plane tool and we're just going to bring this up to uh, here. Well, in saying that, let's just undo that and I'm going to select these two. Just select these two. And slice plane. And bring that guy up to about here. Click on slice, and I'm just going to rotate this. 
90 degrees. And we're just going to here click on slice and do the same for over here. Click on slice. And select these polygons here. Delete. And same for here. Delete. And then we're going to isolate those two. Go to perspective view. And we're just going to clean up. So I'll select those two here. And to here and I want to bridge and then I'm going to select the outline here just checking the top that's a uh, We'll cap that guy. So like this, we'll cap this guy. Actually, uh, we won't do that. Now select. Use two edges and bridge. Because I want to keep the shape down here as well as up here. It's just a personal preference and we'll cap those. And we'll just do the same thing over here. Uh, let's Delete this, which I didn't intend to do. So I'll grab these two edges and bridge. Okay, this is uncapped, so we'll cap. Zoom in on here for a second. And cap. Okay. Let's go to the left view, frame up. And that's looking pretty nice. Okay, to finish up, I am going to make sure that we just have those selected and nothing else. And looks like we do. So go back to the left view, frame up, and click edit the honey modifier. And here, and bring these guys down. Deselect this and deselect those. Okay. 
Deselect those guys and deselect these guys. And bring this down. We do want this. There we go. Just bring these guys down. Okay. So we'll select the center ones. I'm just going to come back to it everybody just so we can start with a fresh stack and um, we're just going to do the same thing as we did before just going to bring this down to to here slice rotate 90 degrees, slice, and slice. Call the parties, delete, delete. Isolate selection mode. Perspective. And we're just going to frame up on. Yeah, just going to grab these. Bridge. Hmm. Ah, okay. Let's grab this palette and delete. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, that is done. Perspective view, let's frame up. Let's unfreeze the walls. Uh, let's change this to realistic. Okay, yeah, not too bad. So, in the next lesson, uh, uh, whatever I've missed, I shall. Uh, we've done the ones on the front here, ones on the side, we have the ones at the bottom here and here and some along here. So uh, I'm not going to spend another lesson doing that. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Choose the techniques that we've learned here and I shall see you in the next lesson with this done.